Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I prepared a special editorial-ish kind of look. Uh, I was just really inspired by full-on glam and these vampy lips, which remind me of winter time. I don't wear this makeup any other time but in the winter. So we have this really full blown out uh, peachy and pinkish color. And then on top we have just some slight glitter to kind of catch the eye and maybe it looks a bit like it's wet on camera because this Fenty highlighter is the bomb for that. And then this vampy burgundy brownish red lip, which I think is super wearable actually. This makeup look is for those days where you just feel like the red lip isn't gonna cut it, you want something more, you want something edgier, you wanna take it up a notch, and then you put on this lovely color on and you feel like a badass B, okay? If you'd like to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. Alrighty, I'm starting out with these superstars, the Vilita Skin Food and the Strobe Cream from MAC. These are my all-time favorites for hydrating and just to make the skin look really glowy and healthy. For this look, I'm starting out with the eyes. I'm not using an eyeshadow primer, I'm just using a skin tone color. This one here, this is the Thirsty Palette from Jeffree Star. And I just wanna make the canvas matte so that the colors just blend a bit more easily. Now for this part, you could also use just a setting powder uh, that you love and if it's like a silky texture then the better. Already I'm going in with the Urban Decay's um, Born to Run palette and I'm using this light pinkish shade and I'm gonna use it all over the eye. I'm just trying to get like a wash of color all over my eye. Now that we've blended that first step out um, I'm just going in with a darker color. It's kind of in the same range of pink, but just a tad darker. It's called Taste Buds. And I'm just going over that eyeshadow that we've put on before. When that's done, I'm going in with the Mango Tango by Makeup Geek. And I'm using this on the lid and like on the inner corner of the eye. Now we want to blend that in so it looks like one. And for that I'm using the Kat Von D palette and I'm just using the lighter shades. Now that I've achieved the look that I kind of wanted, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty highlight and How Many Carrots, just to add some sparkle to my eye so that it catches the light. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a colorless, um, diamond type of highlight that just makes your skin look kind of wet and glowy. It's phenomenal. And I'm just patting that on. Do you see how that catches the light? But I've done that, I'm using my mascara, my trusty Maybelline Lash Sensational. And you know what? Drugstore mascara is for the win. Always. Always, always. I've used so many expensive mascaras and I just can't wrap my head around the fact that it's so expensive and it really doesn't get the job done. For me at least. So Maybelline really gets the medal here. Now I always do this. I always somehow touch my skin around my eyes with the mascara wand. I don't know, my eyes are just super small and I can't do anything to change that. I'll go back to that later, but for now I'm gonna focus on the skin. Today I'm using my all-time favorite drugstore foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible one. Now excuse how messy it is, it's just been so well loved, you know? The shade range is okay, but in Slovenia, in Europe, there's just not many drugstore brands that cater to darker skin. Now, it's not just drugstore, it's 
all brands you know remember to always always drag your foundation down don't get that streaky line it looks unnatural you need to blend your face and your neck together now I'm using my elf concealer I feel like I've been using this one a lot lately and mentioning it a lot but I just love it that much okay Now I'm not setting my face just yet because I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Duo just to warm up my face. Today I'm going to use a lot of cream products just so that I don't make the skin look heavy. I want it to be very glowy, very natural and just that maybe a bit of a glass skin kind of look. I'm going to use my foundation brush for this part just kind of to place it where I want it. Don't be scared, we're gonna blend that all out. Using my beauty blender, I'm just blending that out so that it looks seamless. Now let's add some warmth to the face, shall we? I'm using the Douglas bronzer, just the tiniest bit. Just going over the Kevin Aquan cream bronzer. And I'm gonna try patting it on top rather than dragging it because I just don't want to interfere with the cream products. Now is the perfect time to clean this mess I made with the mascara. I'm just going with my spoolie and just trying to scrape it off really because I find this works the best. You don't really interfere that much with the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna fill my brows now. You already know with what, it's the Camp Von D eyeshadow palette. Using the Art Deco brow filler to comb my lashes up and to make them a bit more bushy. Okay, now for the exciting part, the lips. I'm using the Fenty Beauty uh, Matte Moselle lipstick. It's this vampy burgundy red. So let's go in. Damn, look at that color. Look how white my teeth look. <laughs> so the perfect way to um, combine all of these colors together is to use the lipstick that you've used on your lips on your cheeks and I'm gonna do that I'm gonna use the same lipstick and the Glossier puff um, puff paint and I'm just scraping it off with my spatula I'm blending them together over here now be careful you don't want to use this kind of pigment in your face first you need to tap it off a bit like this okay and then you want to go in don't worry if you don't blend it perfectly because you can always go in with your foundation brush or your sponge okay yikes you're not gonna end up looking like this because we just need to blend that out okay I'm going in with my foundation brush and I'm just patting all over that I know that we look crazy, but we will make it work, okay? Just a second. And for the last step, I'm using the eyeshadow color that we've used, just lightly going over that because it'll help the colors to blend in even more. Just lightly patting it on. And the last step to kind of give it that extra glow I'm using the MAC cream uh, highlighter and shell just with my fingers and I'm gonna tap that on okay one more step and we're done I'm using the same highlighter that I used on my eyes and I'm just gonna tap that very lightly in the center of my lips So this is the finished look.
and I think all skin tones could rock this look. This lip, for sure, and this wash of color as well. So I think you should really try it out. Um, but of course, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you recreate this look, make sure you tag me. Why the hell not? If you like this video, make sure you press the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel. Why not join the Nina family? Stay safe, guys, and I hope I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!